Fish Friend was a labor of love from beginning to end, set in a stylized, off-kilter 50s Americana and featuring a budding friendship between a young girl and her stop-motion piranha, there were many challenges to overcome. Let's take a look at how we achieve some of the effects in the piece, using a combination of both traditional and digital effects, as well as cover some of the other details on the road to realizing Fish Friend. From the start, writer-producer John Swartz decided we could make the short quickly by simply using a real fish. Rather than a piranha, we chose a close relative, a Paku, to play the role of Vincent. Here's our Paku with a menacing set of chompers added digitally. Unfortunately for us, the Paku's size became an issue, as he would need to spend most of the short in a small fishbowl. This is when we decided to use stop motion rather than CGI, as it would be more keeping to the old school aesthetic we'd established. As you can see, Vincent went through many iterations. Here's John's final painted silicone Vincent, performed by Melissa Goodwin Shepherd. Not too bad, right? Soon, John's second bedroom became a makeshift stop motion studio. This is where we shot the performance of the ants and the baby crocodile, both modeled out of latex and plasticine. Now let's get into some shot breakdowns. If you haven't actually seen the short yet, now's a good time to pause and click the link in the video description below. Let's start with the burp. This is the first time we realize Vincent isn't who Sally thinks he is. Let's start by taking it apart. We remove color correction, compositing, and finally, Vincent himself. Here's what the shot looked like while we were editing, complete with a reference performance by our friend Eric. Here's the original empty plate Devin shot on the day. Now we bring in Vincent with Melissa's performance. Next, we use this shot of a glass of water to get a bubble for Vincent's burp. Next, we integrate the elements into the plate, making Vincent appear to be in the aquarium rather than in front of it. Finally, we color the shot and it's complete. In this sequence, it was important to see that Vincent was becoming more and more invested in Sally's father cutting himself while making lemonade. After we already shot the stop motion element, it was decided we needed a bigger performance from Vincent's eyes to accomplish this. Here's how we did it. Let's take it apart. First, we remove color, a digital zoom, the glass highlights, one round of glass blur, another of glass refraction, and finally the raw footage of Vincent himself. Here you can see just how detailed our reference was. Here's the clean plate that we shot on the day. Now with Vincent's performance roughly laid in. And here's a detailed look at that eye performance I mentioned. Our VFX guru Chase used Nuke's spline warp tools to add even more life to Vincent. He's basically digital puppeteering a real puppet. And here's what it looks like in the shot. In order for Vincent to integrate into the shot, we begin to add back the distortion from the glass bowl. Next, we place glass highlights in front of Vincent. And finally, we apply color, and the shot is complete. Here are a couple interesting tidbits about Fish Fry. While it's only an 8 minute short, it's been 1,370 days since principal photography began. Out of a total of 169 shots, a whopping 98 of them required visual effects. From production to post, 30 people helped realize the short, as well as 7 actors, including our star, Nikki Han. Over the three and a half years since we shot the film, 4 crew members have gotten engaged, 3 have been married, and 2 have had babies. All of this during the production of one 8 minute short film. Finally, we just want to say thanks to our hardworking cast and crew, as well as to our wonderful Kickstarter backers. Without your support, none of this would have been possible. Thanks for watching. If you haven't seen Fish Friend yet, check out the final product by clicking here.